So when you're engaging students in write, writing courses, um, you have that double objective of teaching them writing, um, but you have to have a content to work with. And so when I teach um, literature or writing courses, I tend to just bring in the subject matter that I'm teaching at different levels, but I have them engaged with the text differently. And I have the object objective is really to teach them to think critically about text, to, to, make, to help them understand how a text is sort of crafted together by various parts and that the heart of analysis is being able to, to understand how the parts relate to the whole and to kind of deconstruct the meaning through its language. And so I think that um, I'm able to infuse multicultural perspectives by just by virtue of teaching authors who are underrepresented in these classes. So while the students are learning how to think critically and learning how to develop analytical writing, they're also sort of getting introduced to these these writers of color that then some of my students will go on to pursue in higher, you know, like upper division courses where they're really producing independent research on these writers or these texts. When you're teaching writing about literature, um, you also introduce students to different critical approaches to writing. So you introduce them to psychoanalysis, to feminist theory, to critical race theory post-colonial theory, and these are all different ways of reading the same text. So one of the things I'll have them do is we'll read one text um, from multiple different angles, and that giving, giving them that opportunity, inviting them to read a text differently multiple times enables them to understand the importance of perspective and how a critical lens can really shape not only your interpretation of the text, but the way you write about it, and you know the meanings the text has for you and for your readers. So in these writing about literature classes, it's, it's a chance to introduce maybe non-majors, non-English majors, to the work of literary studies while also engaging them critically with these texts. And that really helps them see the value of multiple perspectives in writing and in talking about literature. I'm teaching uh, writing about literature class this quarter, and I'm, I'm teaching Sherman Alexie's short stories. And my students, um, a lot of the students were, are, felt sort of trepidatious about talking about the text because they, they would say things like, I can't relate to this story, I'm not Native American, or um, I feel like I don't have a right to talk about this, this entire community, which has been so oppressed throughout the years. And what I tell them is that Sherman Alexie wrote to speak to all audiences and that you know you can look you can look objectively at the text so long as you recognize that any claim you want to make about the text has to be sort of grounded in evidence from the text and has to be sort of rooted in analysis and so i get them to, once once they understand that their job is to sort of analyze a text to understand how the parts make up the whole they sort of realize that if they recognize their own assumptions to the that they're bringing to the text that that they can actually analyze the text objectively and fruitfully, and they're not so they don't feel so alienated by the text, or they don't feel like they have this they don't have this right to talk about it because I'm teaching them all these skills about writing, like you know, thesis development and you know, rooting those claims and analysis from the text. And if they see that they can, there there there's this actual process that they can they can engage in. Suddenly, questions of identity. They're still important, but they're able to understand, like, oh, this is an assumption I'm bringing to the text, and just recognizing that, it, it does, like, trigger a light bulb moment for them where they realize, oh, I hadn't thought of that because of my background, and now that I'm able to understand, you know, this context or, you know, the, the goal of the assignment is to articulate, you know, a thesis with support, they, they somehow feel like, okay, if that's what I need to learn how to do, I can do that and recognize these assumptions. So it's, it's sort of a give and take between their, you know, what they're bringing to the text, but also recognizing that they have this job to analyze the text. Um, and part of analysis is sort of knowing when your assumptions are there and when they're informing your analysis.